All right, let me explain what's going to happen tomorrow in class. Uh, we have kind of a little different fun activity, um, and then you have some work time uh, to go with that. And so what we're going to be covering tomorrow is lesson 5.2.3, applying proportions. The last couple of days we've been dealing with proportions, solving for uh, a variable within those proportions and how to work with that. This one is dealing with the fish population. So uh, let's move forward with what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Let's take an example. You're going to be looking at a blank screen for a moment so I tell you a little story. Uh, let's take for an example that you want to go to uh, to find out what, how many fish are in a certain lake. And so you go to that lake and you maybe you pull out about a hundred fish out of that lake. So you pull out a hundred fish. Now we don't know how many fish are in the lake, but we do know that we can pull out a hundred fish from that lake. And we tag those hundred fish. So we we tag them so we know now within that lake there's a hundred fish swimming around that have a tag on them. Well then we go in there a little later after they've swam around for a while. They've all mixed and mingled again and so they're all mixed up. And we pull out let's say 500 fish this time. And of the 500 fish that we pull out, 20 of them are tagged. So now we've got to set that up and let's look at what that would look like. So we've got tagged fish the very first time we pulled out a hundred fish and we tagged all 100 of them so we know 100 fish in that lake are tagged we don't know how many fish are in the lake though but the second time we pulled out 500 fish we do know how many fish we pulled out we pulled out 500 and when we pulled out those 500 fish 20 of those fish had a tag on them so now we can do an estimation um, based on this where we can cross multiply and then divide to figure out approximately how many fish are in that lake. So let's do that. 100 times 500 comes out to be 50,000. We then divide that 50,000 by 20 to come up with 2,500 fish in the lake. So if you ever want to know how to find fish, that's how you do it. Now what we're going to be doing tomorrow is very similar to that, to a, to a fish population. What you're going to do is you're going to come to class and I'm going to give you some beans. I'm going to give you some white beans and then I'm going to give you some, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to give you some white beans and there, we're going to put those white beans out there. You're going to take so many of those white beans and you're going to color coat them or tag them and then you're going to put those back in your bag and you're going to mix up that bag full of uh, beans and then you're going to take out another sample of beans. And you're going to count how many of those beans that you took out as your next sample were tagged. So again, you're going to take out a cup full of bag of beans to begin with. Let's say it was 100. We don't know how many beans are in the bag. That would be impossible to count or it would take too long. Well then after you take those 100 out and you mark all 100 of them, you put them back in the bag and you mix them up. Let's say you pulled out 100 more instead of 500 here. So you pull out 100 more. And if you pull those out and 10 of those are tagged, well then you got 100 times 100 divided by 10. So that is what you're going to be doing tomorrow. So we'll do that. That won't take too long and then you'll have some work time to work on the rest of your stuff tomorrow. I uh, hope you look forward to doing it. It's kind of a fun little activity. It won't take us too long. And uh, it'll teach you how to do a population sample. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow.